Before this video starts, as usual, be sure to watch the previous episodes of the Player's Guide series to catch up on today's lesson. The last two episodes in the series include Super Doom Spire, A Beginner's Guide, in which we went into the default toolset and its properties, as well as how to win with the default toolset. In the episode thereafter, which was Super Doom Spire, An Advanced Guide, we went through on how to win the game with strategies in all of the game modes covered except spawn capture, and weapons to use for those game modes. However, in today's episode, I wanted to elaborate on that a little further. Without further ado, let's introduce the video. One of Super Doom Spire's adjustments from the original game, Doom Spire Brick Battle, is its new assortment of tools and weapons, in which there are over 64 tailored to every player's style. Super Doom Spire makes it a point to include combat in game, with MVP and extra coins on the scarf card after battle, as well as the combat making a point to minimize spawn rate and providing an intense edge for battle. Super Doom Spire's weapons can be achieved in three ways. Number one, you can purchase them with coins. Number two, complete tasks. Or number three, which is very rare to be seen, play the alpha version. Super Doom Spire's weapons each have perks and disadvantages to them as well, which makes the player to master these weapons as well as have to cooperate and strategize over minimizing these disadvantages in battle. With the different playing styles and 64 weapons, it can be hard for players to find a weapon that suits their battle needs. You watching this video, being said, are probably one of those players that want to maximize their tool set to their playing style but doesn't know which weapons to choose. Well, I'm here to help. In today's video, I'll be going over the best weapons to use in game as well as for each type of player in which we will be categorizing to suit everyone's needs as not everyone is going to use the same type of weapons as everyone plays differently. I'll also be teaching you how to use the weapons mentioned and strategies to use these weapons. My name's Nuke Alex, and this is our Player's Guide series in which we teach you, the player, into getting better scores in games. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hash Train Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we start today's video, make sure to subscribe so that way you never miss out on the latest Roblox drama, news, tips, and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the bell so that way you never miss out on one of my videos. This showcase was made by Buildite called The Abandoned Library. The link to the showcase will be in the description. Also, my friend Iman Gaming would like you guys to know to stay away from Real Matt. Though I'm in statement, I won't be making another video on Real Matt after this because I don't feel it's necessary despite the fact of numerous requests. That's all for updates. Now in the video of itself, I've devised four classes to appeal to every playing style. These classes include Speed Focused, which are lighter weapons, All Around, Normal Sized Weapons, and Heavier Focused, which is heavier weapons, as well as Brute Focused, Heaviest Weapons. We will be going through each class and what I would believe would work for each class. Let's get started with our Speed Focused class. This class, also known as the speed class, use this class if you are more of a player that likes to get around faster for spawn points to knock out spawns. These weapons also knock out the fastest after doing research. Although these weapons perceive less damage, you can target it right if you attack from multiple angles. With that being said, the weapons of my choosing for the lightest class are Number 1, the normal rocket. I chose the normal rocket as it will provide you fast shots that reload using the key R. The reload time is not affected at all, it's not minus or speeded up, therefore providing you a time advantage. For this weapon, the best way to use it is in close shots. It's better to aim in first person than third and it reloads around every 5 seconds. It is especially good to use on AFK players or if a player is coming directly towards you. Target the hitbox, as mentioned previously, center to left, and it should provide a one hit KO if you are within less than 100 studs and steps of your target. In my weapon toolbar, I use the golden rocket because it's cool and provides no disadvantages. Number 2 Vox Scalibur This is like an 8-bit sword that provides easier swings but not easier lunges. These easier swings allow you to KO a target faster if swinging near close range. For this playing style, most likely you will be counting on your sword. The best strategy as shown is to use shift lock on your computer and jump around repeatedly hitting your target on multiple different angles. Aim for sides and center. Although the lunch has a reload time, preferably use it as a finisher rather than counting on it, as it aims towards 8 seconds. 
Easier swings with your speed will allow you to fight easier. Number 3. Sticky Bomb Despite the Sticky Bomb's less range, it is good for a one-hit KO as it's the only bomb in game that can stick to players. It's great as a starter weapon for all classes as it hits players and also provides fast, sticky range, along with the low price of 800 coins. The speed is also up so it's good for directly targeting players and especially paintings if you want to get more kills and coins. A tip when using this bomb is to use within 20 studs range if a player is coming towards near you, and then switch back quickly to sword and lend yourself away. It's good to use as AFK players as it's usually a one-hit KO and reloads fast, smooth, and nicely. If aimed around 10 studs between two players, it can knock out both, making for easier kills if you do not want to take multiple hits on a player. Aim directly at head or center when placing these bombs. If a bomb is placed on you, knock it off with a rocket. However, keep in mind once a sticky bomb is on you, it usually means you're pretty close to death and it's hard to get off, making it another good weapon. Number 4, Defol or Runkat is best of the round time, which can eventually damage players in itself as well. The reload time of the classic ball isn't affected, therefore adding extra time and doing the same amount of normal damage. As speed, make it a point to master this weapon, especially in infection rounds. This will help you win on the zombie side as well. The charge which is done by holding the trigger button on the ball can knock out a player with the round cat. Therefore, you can go and get your kill using number 2 which is the Vox and incapacitating players which makes it great for easier KOs as it's harder for your opponent to hit whilst on the ground. Number 5 is Bridge Trowel. The low cost and more makes it especially great for fast travel time and even greater for round cat rounds as it provides two hit coverage. This trowel can especially save you in normal Doomspire rounds. When your building comes out, target shift lock as you're falling and make a temporary platform. This also allows you to travel faster and helps your team when planning a route and minimum blocks on the classic map. I would recommend this class if you are a speed focused player. To master this class, master fast hits using shift lock and especially making use of the WASD keys, as this will help your hitbox to be less noticed and harder to hit. On to our next class. For the all around class, this class is focused on weapons with minimal effects of loss or gainage therefore providing more balanced play. This is the class I prefer to use personally. Here is my tool list for the all around class. Number 1, Golden Rocket. As we've explained, the Golden Rocket provides speed and no disadvantages. Oh, it's also shiny. This relates to the all around class as it being a reskin of the default rocket, therefore providing a rocket that kills players in one shot, yet no disadvantage in terms of lost time, which compared to most rockets it actually gains time. Number 2, the Golden Sword. This sword provides leverage, shine, and the lunge can help players with a balanced kill. Use the lunge to mainly knock out players using R or right click, and then use a sword swing to finish them off. Although you should use all your tools equally mainly, the balanced sword in my opinion is the best weapon in the game for balanced players. Using this class, rely on your trusty sword the most. Life sword and the rest can be the same as long as it's a reskin. Number 3, Gem Bomb. This is awarded on the advanced tax for getting 2500 blocks. This has minimal effects in the largest blast radius in game. It seeks as a normal bomb and also stays when planted, which makes it useful. It is best used on walls or AFK players which guarantees a kill in one shot. It is also good to suspect your enemy if they come after you by placing a trail. After all, the element of surprise is what most do not notice. The reload time is capped at negative 10%, but it's good for long travel as well as bomb jump. Number 4 is the Round Cat Egg. As explained previously, the Round Cat Egg provides great distance with its ability to incapacitate players. Rewarded in the Egg Hunt 2020 event, I'd recommend you'd get it. The most effective way to use the Round Cat Egg is smashing windows by holding charge, which also gains you blocks. Number 5 is the Trusty Old Trowel. Yes, I know when the last time I had the name wrong, but the original trowel provides a way to use a stepping stone, leverage, and one hit coverage. Its most effective way of usage is to use in the round cat round, where you can provide coverage for yourself on the front lines. It's best to place a line and then on top of it. This can create a stair-like effect as well, which is useful for climbing up doom spires or protecting the round cats in the rally game mode. I would recommend this class if you are a balanced player such as myself and prefer fair fight and play. To best master this class, master default weapons and especially use your special moves to your advantage to have mobility and strike in center. 
on to our next class. For the heavier class, think about it as that guy at the gym who goes, I don't work out too much, but is still buff. This class provides some mobility, but also heavier weapons that induce more damage. This class works great in infection, hordes, and close combat. Here is my tool list for the heavier class. Number one is the Shadow Dragon. The Shadow Dragon is great for far range combat as well as destroying trusses, bridges, and generally big structures. This weapon is also very effective in Roundcat Rally. When aiming a rocket, tend to use it very carefully. The 30% reload time is however worth it. This weapon can kill up to 5 players at once and knock down a Doom Spire Tower in around 6 hints, which allows your team to eliminate spawns easier. When using the Shadow Dragon, for the reload time try to switch back and forth to minimize disadvantages. In terms of Roundcat Rally, the Shadow Dragon can knock down an entire pillar at once and send the cat absolutely flying. It's one of the best weapons in game and also turns with the entire shadow set in itself. Number 2 is the Golden Greatsword. Again, it is a reskin but it provides some mobility with the Great Swin which can allow you to reach higher platforms. This sword's damage is extraordinary and can knock out players in 2 hits. The Golden Greatsword special also provides incapacity and can whip players off a map. Equip this sword especially in Infection as the horse can be killed in just one shot. To use a sword most effectively, keep in mind its slowness, but also in your time at the swing, which can cause for a whoosh knockout. Number 3 is the Gem Bomb. As explained previously, the Gem Bomb has the highest blast radius. It is very effective for high damage situations. Number 4 is the Round Cat. This is awarding using quests in shop. It is extremely effective as of its ability to bounce around, avoid its explosions, and its mega 50% constructive damage bonus, which can destroy a Doomsire very, very effectively, and has the ability to knock out entire floors. This is best in Doomsire and Infection, which can knock out zombies in one hit when charged. When using this weapon, preferably use it charged and remember to switch whilst the reload time. Number 5 is the Strike Trowel. The Spike Trowel provides a way of making a platform while killing your enemies in just one shot. The Spike Trowel is extremely, extremely effective in Infection, as it takes 5 hits just to get rid of the spike. Even when it's white and ready to disassemble, the 1 hit KO still stands. I would recommend this class if you'd like to do higher damage but also have some movement and time attributed. To master this class the best, play Infection rounds and you versus big numbers. It's also effective if you're the last standing in a round. Now, on to our final class. For the heaviest class, this is the class that you choose if you're an absolute unit. Most of these weapons do one hit kill and are very large in standing. With that being said, here is the tool list. Number 1 is the Shadow Dragon. As explained, the heavier damage makes it a great weapon. Number 2, Colossal Blade. The Colossal Blade is very similar to the Greatsword except it provides damage control and knockout. Number 3, Gem Bomb, very high blast radius. Number 4, Round Cat Egg, provides a heavier set of damage to players as explained previously. And number 5, as explained previously, Spike Trowel and it's amazing for infection. Use this class if you want absolutely maximum damage. Now, let's conclude the video. there are many weapons in Super Doom Aspire to appeal to people's different needs. Keep in mind that you shouldn't follow this list entirely, as it's up to you to make your own playing style. Thank you so much for watching my video. Do you have your own type of tool list that you have? Paste it in the comments down below or write down below. If there's anything I missed, please let me know and I'll be happy to cover it next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe, because this video actually took a lot of effort to make. 3 days of continuous editing. That's all for today's video, I'll see you in the next one next week. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.